I'm Kim Ingram, the Conference Secretary of the Western North Carolina Annual Conference, and in this video we're going to talk some about the logistics and the details, what you can expect when you come to the Annual Conference session. As you know, Annual Conference is scheduled for June the 17th through the 21st at Lake Junaluska, located in the beautiful Western North Carolina mountains. Our schedule will start with a clergy gathering on Wednesday at 10 o'clock a.m. for the clergy session which will run all day until about dinner time with a break for lunch. And then that evening, all lay and clergy members and guests of the annual conference are invited to come and participate in the opening worship session. The opening worship service and Holy Communion will start at 7.30 on Wednesday night. On Thursday morning, the laity will gather starting at 8.30 a.m. for a laity session, which will last for a few hours when the laity will begin the voting and balloting process for the general conference nominations. I'll talk more about that in the election video. The whole annual conference will start with the opening business session on Thursday at 11.15 a.m., where the laity and the clergy will gather together and begin doing our conference business. Annual conference will last until the closing worship service, which will start at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning, and we will be finished and adjourned at about noon on that day. You can find the full agenda of the conference schedule on the annual conference website, which is www.ac2015.org. It will also be listed in the pre-conference publication that will be posted online at that website on mid-May, and also in the supplemental materials that you will receive when you arrive at registration. Speaking of registration, you're encouraged when you get to the lake to go ahead and register so that you might get your name tag and indicate your presence. Registration is held in the Terrace Auditorium, the Terrace Hotel on the third floor. And when you arrive, you'll find that the clergy will, will register in one area, the laity will register in another area. You'll get your name tag with a lanyard that's color coded based on your voting eligibility. And you'll also get your handset the device that you will use for registration or for voting in the elections. You'll hear more about that in the video on the elections. We encourage participation in the full annual conference session of all of the clergy and lay members. The sessions occur in Stewart Auditorium and because of the number of people that are members of the annual conference, the business sessions of the annual conference will be limited only to members. Guests and visitors to the annual conference session will be able to watch the business proceedings of the annual conference from a variety of locations at the lake. They will be able to watch from the lobbies of the hotels, from the Lake Junalaska Cafe, and from Harrell Room 202, which is located next to Stewart Auditorium. But visitors, guests, and lay members and clergy members alike are all welcome and invited to participate in all of the worship services that are held in Stewart Auditorium. There's some things that you've come to count on when you come to the lake, and those things will be present again this year. That includes the shuttles. Lake Junaluska has two shuttles, and we rent two shuttles to go around the lake during the whole annual conference session so that you are able to park in some of the remote parking areas and just wait at a stop for the shuttle to come by and pick you up and drop you off in front of the Stewart Auditorium. There is plenty of parking for everyone at Lake Junaluska. But for many, it will mean that you need to use the shuttles in order to park and ride in order to get to the sessions. We also will have a food court again this year with several vendors on Wednesday during the clergy session, on Thursday, and on Friday at lunchtime. And these food vendors will be available out in the courtyard in order that you don't have to leave and come back to annual conference and fight traffic and parking. So bring some cash with you so that you can get your food right there at the lake as well as the hotel dining rooms will be open. If you are staying at the lake, registration for housing is available at the Bethea Welcome Center. The first thing at the main entrance when you drive on the lake property on your left is the Bethea Welcome Center and you are encouraged to stop there if you're staying on the lake property to pick up your keys and other information. One of the aspects of annual conference that we started several years ago and are including again this year are the disciple dialogues that will be held on Thursday afternoon from 4 to 5.30. There will be five disciple dialogues offered this year around the theme of evangelism until the whole world hears. 
and you're invited in the pre-conference publication to check out what the choices for those are and make a decision about which one of those you might like to attend. We will have some petitions that we consider at annual conference again this year, and you're encouraged to look in the program and reports book in order to become familiar with the topics and issues that are being presented and are prepared to vote on those when the time arrives and to participate in the discussion around them. All of the business that you will need, all of the information that you will need to participate in the business sessions at annual conference will be available in the printed booklet that you will receive when you register. So you don't need to print the program and reports book, just to access it online and read through it. And then we will hand you a printed copy of the supplement, which will give you the information that you need. There is, once again this year, a focus on fitness at annual conference. We will have the Imagine No Malaria 5K and Fun Run Walk that's sponsored by the Western North Carolina Conference Emory Club. And it will be this year on Saturday morning. Advanced registration is available and you'll certainly want to register in advance so that you can get one of the t-shirts. That link to that is available at the annual conference website. There is also, for those who are more ambitious than I am, that you can participate in the cycle to Lake Junaluska, the bike ride that will start on Sunday just prior to the annual conference in Charlotte and then that group will ride their bikes all of the way to Lake Junaluska over several days. And you can find out more information about that opportunity at the annual conference website. We encourage you to check the annual conference website regularly in order to see the updated information that we are posting weekly now um, and to get access to the publications that are available in advance. That address is www.ac2015.org. We are excited about annual conference this year and are in the final days of preparation for the big event. We welcome you. We want you to feel at home, comfortable, and well-informed so that it will be a good experience for you. If you have any questions or need further information, you're encouraged to check with your local church pastor, with your district office, or send me an email at kingram at wnccumc.org. We want this to be a good experience for you so that we share the good news until the whole world hears.